Hi programmers, wish you a time of happy learning for the last minute revisor. In this video, we shall send a plain text mail using Python code. To send a mail, there are a few things that we need to know. Sender's email address and password, receiver's email address, subject and message. Let's get started with these elements in the Python code first. Store the mail ID from which you want to send email in sender underscore email as a string. Next, we need the password for the sender's email address. Instead of giving the password directly as a plain visible text in program or uh, getting input using input function, which would display password as plain text on screen, let us use get pass function of get pass module, which will prompt the user for input, which will not display the entered characters on screen. So uh, let us import uh, get pass module and call get pass function with a prompt message. Password for mail ID. Uh, store the user input in the variable password. Now that we have uh, sender's email address and password, let us move to the receiver's email address. I'm going to send mail to the same mail ID in this demo. Here you can uh, give a different mail ID too. Now, let us move to the subject and message of mail. Give the message as a string. If the content is in single line, you can just use single quotes or double quotes. So I'm, I have something in the variable message in multiple lines. So I have enclosed it in triple double quotes. As you see, the first line is subject, subject colon. So the things that are following this is going to be the subject of my mail. In my mail, mail sent from Python is the subject. In case I'm not giving the subject colon part, I'll be getting the mail as um, the content will be there and uh, the subject will be mentioned as no subject. So now uh, we have all the basic things. Let us send the mail. We have a built-in module SMTP lib in Python for sending emails. So SMTP stands for Simple Mail Transfer Protocol. Using SMTP lib, we shall establish a secure socket layer SMTP connection. So I'm importing the necessary modules and this is the code. So as you see here, we shall establish a secure socket layer SSL. SMTP connection with the Gmail SMTP server and port number 465. Create the default context of SSL, which validates the host name certificates and optimizes the security of connection. Using the object created, so this one is going to create this object server. Using the object created, we'll be logging in and sending the mail. So server.login of sender email and password. So mail ID and password will pass here. So after logging in, we need to send the mail using the function send mail. So here I need to pass the sender email address, receiver email address and the message. So the subject is included here in the message itself. So this is the code. So before we run, there is an important setting you need to check. We must allow less secure apps on in uh, sender's email ID. So for that, open the web browser and uh, log into your Gmail account from which you want to send mail using Python. Open a new tab, https colon double slash myaccount.google.com slash less secure apps. So here, by default, for security reasons, allow less secure apps will be off. Turn it on. You will get notification and also an alert email. So uh, this is the thing that you need to do. After sending the mail, you can um, go back to this and uh, turn it off. That is, allow less secure apps setting to be turned off. So now. Let me copy paste the code. 
I'm going to run this from the command prompt. Move to the directory. So moving to my Python location. The command for running the file is python space your file name dot py. So for me, it is lmp underscore line text underscore mail dot py. So it is prompting for password. I'm actually typing, you will not be seeing it. I'm pressing enter. It's okay. Now let me move to my mail to see. Yes, I have got the mail. As you see, the subject is there as well as the content is there. That's it. To encourage and support this work, do like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to change your settings back after sending the mail. Stay tuned for further updates.